Hello everyone, uh, this is The Scientist and uh, welcome to another audio podcast um, on this uh, fourth uh, series uh, fourth series um, relating to uh, the um, uh, the Stormtronics case review this is an audio podcast on um, the healthcare uh, um, uh, on healthcare and prioritising the labscape workforce um, and this is another sto- uh, a storm robotics production uh, and as in uh, previous audios and po- podcasts um, in this series <clears throat> and previous series I'm going to um, uh, highlight uh, this uh, import uh, hopefully uh, in, uh, hopefully intri- intriguing topic relating to um, healthcare um, and, and the workforce um, and uh, linking in areas of healthcare, um, again, um, I, I will, as as I have done before, uh, focus on um, a, a particular long-term healthcare uh, condition um, and um, <clears throat> highlight highlight um, the, this audio um, uh, podcast around that. Um, and this will this uh, audio podcast will be broken down um, uh, it, or split into uh, sort of uh, three different sec- uh, sections there'll be a bit about a bit of introduction uh, some un- understanding uh, some uh, aspects around best practice and then some aspects around the summary um, oh, I'm bringing kind of interlinking uh, everything um, uh, interlinking everything together so uh, so <clears throat> So to begin with, um, uh, I'm going to um, highlight a little bit about this uh, in an introduction. Um, so since um, around 2006, um, uh, so some time ago, and retrospectively, um, at least where healthcare, health, um, healthcare is concerned um, it, uh, and, and the UK perspective, and uh, forgive me listeners um, as well because um, m- some of this context may have been highlighted in a, in a previous audio, um, audio podcast so I'm just sort of reiterating some of the, the that, some of that um, adding a bit more um, uh, adding a, a bit more uh, understanding and and hopefully um, sort of bring a bit more uh, robustness to 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 the to to the understanding um, around this um, in this um, area um, area uh, these areas of practice um, <clears throat> so since 2006 general practitioners in the UK or GPs as they're referred to have been um, uh, at one point um, they were incentivized to keep a register and to keep a lookout for those um, uh, patients uh, or individuals who are suspect or high risk for long-term particular long-term conditions for example chronic kidney disease and um, Link and relating to that, um, <coughs> excuse me, there um, is a um, uh, or, uh, there is actually a uh, organisation referred to as um, uh, and again I've mentioned in in previous audio podcasts uh, relating to the uh, renal patient support group or the RPSG um, and um, uh, the RPSG uh, I won't highlight too much around that them in this audio podcast. Um, um, uh, they do uh, the the RPSG uh, listeners are welcome to check out the the uh, that that website um, uh, and and what that organisation is all about. Um, but um, uh, uh, so, um, but uh, to, to highlight um, what they have done is kind of focused around this particular long term uh, uh, long term uh, health uh, health uh, issue um, and how. Um, the nature of the of that particular condition is as a silent and it's an irreversible condition and so therefore um, the uh, what the RPSG have been doing is looking to or seeking to raise more awareness around that and trying to bring some of those to, um, uh, impo- important um, important focuses that are sort of um, either not talked about or discussed or understood um, uh, as far as public health is concerned and try to bring that um, actually into um, areas of uh, the public domain by sharing um, understanding and, and um, bridging gaps um, in um, uh, in areas in focuses and surrounding areas around healthcare whereby 
whereby um, ultimately um, uh, people, um, the general public and those who are suspect or high risk uh, for the, this particular condition or this health, care, health concern can actually uh, identify um, evidence-based understanding to, um, uh, to, to the point where they can actually inform um, aspects of their own health care and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, now in this regard, um, uh, and where um, uh, CKD patients are concerned, uh, or a CKD patient, or CKD uh, care is concerned. Uh, so pa uh, patients who are suspect or high risk for chronic kidney disease, um, uh, in in uh, in at least in the UK, and has since at least since 2006 to at a, at a certain time at a, a, a certain time in 2006, um, healthcare professionals on the front line were incentivized uh, to keep a register and a lookout for those. Um, uh, uh, suspect or high risk, um, especially in uh, chronic kidney disease stages three through five. Um, uh, so there are five stages in chronic kidney disease. Um, stages one and two are, are, are pretty much um, almost uh, non, uh, 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 pretty much um, uh, um, uh, non, uh, not uh, non identifiable um, to the point where uh, it's not obvious, um, but um, uh, owing to Owing to um, renal function or kidney function being absolutely uh, normal, uh, but in stages three and five, three through five, um, is where um, this um, health condition um, can actually be uh, problematic. And most of the um, healthcare in in uh, or most of the uh, of, um, uh, uh, most of the um, uh, uh, care uh, sort of care pathway around this in in the uk um has been um relating to sort of um sort of uh, aspects that relate to uh, lifestyle um uh, health healthcare and lifestyle um uh, sort of um kind of interventions and and so on and so forth um there is a, a good uh, a lot of literature out there um and i will highlight some resources um um uh, in in line with this um, and um, uh, towards the end of this audio and podcast where our listeners can check out those uh, sort of resources at their own time. But in, 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 a, in, in a sort of um, uh, um, contextualized way, I guess, uh, I would want uh, I say that um, uh, what GPs did or those uh, healthcare professionals in the front line do, did at least in, in a point in 2006, was actually um, uh, uh, um, a lookout uh, look uh, to, uh, uh, seek to look out uh, for those who are suspect or high risk um, um, for chronic kidney disease, especially in stages three to three through five, and um, incidences and prevalences through um, what was referred to as something called quality outcomes framework or or the QOF um, framework. And there's literature out there um, um, that's been published or work out there to uh, publish that uh, kind of reflects um, uh, what the QOF um, sort of um, uh, sort of is and how it how it functions. Um, a paper by Stevens actually and team in 2007 uh, uh, and go uh, uh, go and team in 2004 and um, McIntyre um, uh, in 2012 and and Jane actually also in 2014 uh, highlight a lot of the, the context around. Um, areas of um, the quality um, outcomes framework. Now, modeling based on figures um, in work by uh, Stevens and team in 2007 actually suggests that certain medica certain medications um, um, and in context where where um, um, medicines is concerned, or um, um, it can relate to where um, suspect or high risk patients might be on uh, several medications um, to offset or prevent certain um, other um, health cons health issues arising, um, and so thus to uh, prevent, um, uh, uh, kind of prevent and also circumvent um, uh, any uh, on onset of um, disastrous um, other. A co a sort of comorbid comor comorbidities um, so that um, uh, so that uh, basically uh, where patients um, uh, can um, and are managed um, in uh, primary care um, and um, 
also where medicines um, or um, where at least uh, where patients um, who are suspect or high risk for chronic kidney disease um, and are on many medicines, for example, to prevent um, a renal uh, kidney function decline. Um, that's, um, uh, and there is work by, uh, again, work by um, the Renal Patient Support Group or the RPSG that highlights some work around um, what is referred to as polypharmacy. Um, and I won't delve into that too much, but there are there is paper that there, um, uh, the work by Stevens and team highlight that angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ACE um, and um, angiotensin receptor blockers or ARBs um, that are prescribed for suspect or high risk patients with um, a sort of um, mild grade, uh, a mild, moderate or, or sort of um, uh, increasing grading um, uh, uh, forms of uh, uh, hypertension um, um, can um, uh, be uh, uh, the symptoms um, of um, hypertension as well as um, protein leaking or protein urea, um, in, uh, especially in particular forms of chronic kidney disease, um, can actually um, uh, can be offset um, in a way that um, the uh, uh, renal function or the renal reserve, uh, even the renal reserve function can be maintained to an extent that actually um, what happens is that um, the functional components of the kidneys actually stay intact. They have that sense, they can still, uh, they still have that sense of uh, um, sort of uh, um, uh, functional capacity um, to actually do um, uh, as they um, have been sort of made to do, and that is to um, uh, rid of toxins from the blood and actually help individuals uh, avoid urine, uh, which is um, uh, normally uh, and should be sterile. Um, and so what happens is that uh, um, uh, 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 so so suspect or high risk patients with hypertension and protein urea um, can can produce or, or uh, has complications in in, in healthcare um, to a point where a mean annual net uh, saving um, um, to the NHS um, uh, can can uh, uh, can be um, sort of uh, uh, implemented uh, and. At least in in literature that was um, has been retrospective it to to an ex, to an extent has highlighted that more than four hundred and seventy uh, pounds per treated patient patient over a five year perspective um, uh, can can actually uh, be saved. Um, so uh, when when adding um, you know the the the, the sort of um, uh, sort of uh, amounts it actually uh, kind of um, makes sense in in some way and in some in some regard in some regard and the um, the literature um, by uh, Stevens and team and go uh, and team in in 2004 kind of highlight this sort of data set in in a um, in a, in a kind of pilot in a pilot fashion um, um, and so quality outcomes framework data also informed that in 2009 to 2010 about uh, just over 82,000 patients with uh, different forms of hypertension and protein urea um, um, uh, so uh, for example six point just over six percent of those um, who had um, uh, who had who had been screened um, uh, with um, uh, what's referred to as an albumin creatinine ratio, uh, albumin creatinine re a ratio um, uh, sort of um, uh, parameter um, testing and screening and parameters, um, and also um, uh, a protein creatinine re a ratio as well. Um, and uh, and by the way, listeners, uh, albumin creatinine ratio and um, protein uh, creatinine ratio ratio can be um, uh, highlighted or used. Um, sorry, the two, these two terminologies. Um, uh, uh, the public when uh, the public uh, may not know this, 
um, but uh, a, a albumin creatinine ratio and protein creatinine ratio can be used synonymously. Um, and the test, um, uh, uh, so with hypertension or different grades of hypertension and protein urea, um, um, tests um, at, um, uh, and um, alongside um, with those who um, have had, for example, ACR and PCR um, uh, um, uh, protein creatinine ratio, ratio um, uh, investigations were treated um, uh, with um, uh, different forms of um, uh, angiotensin uh, converting enzyme inhibitors or um, angio, uh, angiotensin receptor blockers. These two hypertensives um, actually function different, di um, diff uh, quite differently. Um, one actually works as um, as uh, um, as um, uh, a sort of a, in one way or another works to actually um, help um, wh where where the, the 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 renal tubules or at least where the anatomy is concerned and the physiology is concerned the the, the tubules that uh, are, are that lead to and from the kidneys um, they are dilated um, through the action of um, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors and so that um, thus ultimately allowing more blood flow to go through the kidneys um, and ultimately um, where the functional components of the kidneys i.e the nephrons um, uh, are able to um, do um, what they are there for, um, i.e. to help filter toxins uh, from the blood and, um, uh, uh, um, and ultimately implement a renal clearance and um, uh, thus um, allowing through um, voiding, um, uh, voiding urine uh, through, the uh, through, the, um, through the urinary tract and ultimately the bladder as well, that um, the ACE inhibitors have that sort of action. The angioreceptor blockers or angiotensin, um, the uh, angiotensin receptor blockers have more of a of of an action where where they uh, have a, uh, have more of a an effect on on the cardiovascular uh, the cardiovascular component. So more more around the short term focus of 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 blood pressure um, versus the the um, versus the um, uh, the angiotensin uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor type um, medications or or forms um, uh, sort of um, uh, antihypertensives um, and ultimately through the action of angiotensin angioreceptor blockers actually um, the kidneys um, uh, because of that action in the in the long term regulation of of um, and um, to ward off um, hypertension will also um, find um, uh, will, will also be um, uh, will ha have also also are affected in a way to actually um, thwart off um, any um, sort of uh, issues around um, uh, blood flow and also um, uh, in, in a negative way and also um, in, in, to a point where um, the cardiovascular system i.e. the heart muscle and because uh, um, because of the, the heart muscle and what it does um, actually um, are, are, are more is, is more alleviated um, and so these two different medications in literature where at least um, renal research is or uh, uh, nephrology research is or kidney care research is um, are kind of a main a main focus and have been uh, for for some time now now in in um, in in that regard um, the net annual saving at least in the, in, in in the papers that I, I'm referring to or highlighting um, the net annual saving um, for um, uh, the um, for for those who were um, uh, patients who uh, or, or individuals who were recruited into doing um, into into um, into the the investigation so that the um, um, teams um, can actually um, um, sort of uh, bring out um, uh, the the um, context uh, highlight that the net the net annual saving for this group over a five year uh, perspective was actually estimated 
almost um, or, or at least approximate um, at, at, at 39, 39 million pounds. So nearly 40 million pounds actually um, in, 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 in the literature. And um, the, um, the uh, literature from, from uh, then um, um, or the research around then um, uh, uh, sort of also has been um, sort of uh, um, uh, added, uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, highlighted by other, other authors um, uh, again, McIntyre uh, and team in 2012 highlights um, aspects around um, the, uh, the different med uh, the different antihypertensives and what they do. Uh, Tonelli uh, also in 2011 and team in 2011, Kerr um, and, and, and team in 2012, and there are others. The Quaff Register uh, recorded that uh, chronic kidney disease prevalence at least um, between 2009 and 2010, though the data at that time providing is a little dated, um, uh, um, but um, hopefully gives a perspective um, to, to an extent um, that um, uh, it increased um, in 2009 to 2010 to just over 78,000, uh, uh, just over 78,400 um, uh, 400 um, uh, pop in the population. So adjustments for mortality suggest uh, for mortality suggests that um, 119,000 or more than 119,000 new cases are diagnosed um, were diagnosed actually in that time site time in that time in that time frame as well. So mortality was estimated using a uh, sort of what was referred to in epidemiolo from an epidemiological perspective <coughs> excuse me um, from an epidemiological perspective uh, mortality wa um, was estimated using an age uh, distribution in chronic kidney disease from an english study um, um, and uh, mortality rates by age um, from uh, from uh, also from a, a US study um, and so th um, uh, the works in that in that regard um, uh, have actually been highlighted in in a in a framework paper or publication um, referred to as uh, the chronic kidney disease uh, in England um, uh, publication which was actually published in 2012 by uh, Kerr and team um, and uh, Kerr and team um, also um, uh, published um, a separate sort of entity paper that re relates to this um, work as well. So um, mortality was estimated um, in that regard um, and um, uh, a stance um, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in this in this regard, uh, perhaps then, therefore, a stance is needed really to consider um, whether, apart from the the um, sort of the the the, the uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, apart from the the um, uh, uh, the uh, sort of um, uh, um, medicines and um, interventions in that regard, um, and kind of linking in with 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 relate with regard to what the RPSG or the Renal Patient Support Group have highlighted, um, is that perhaps um, there is a need to consider healthcare um, educational interventions um, a sort a sort of more robustly. And given that um, there are lots of different ways to. Uh, in, inter interact with different forms of um, uh, material and understanding um, through um, on um, through through um, the internet, for example, or online spaces, for example, um, and um, sort of websites, etc., uh, etc. Et this could constitute um, to a health service improvement, at least in in some regard, um, and um, um, sort of link in. With the management of of um, um, and and to prevent the pro, uh, progression of of chronic kidney disease, um, and and there is work actually um, by um, a team um, by Mohammed um, and team in um, and team in 2020, um, and um, and there are um, 
There is um, other work uh, that's been retrospectively been highlighted. Uh, there's a paper by Evans and Tal in 2015, and there's also a paper by Jafar uh, um, uh, uh, going back almost um, uh, almost two decades actually. Um, uh, in in uh, at Jafar and team in 2001. <coughs> so, in this context, then um, I now want to highlight a little bit about. Um, where, um, for example, to consider healthcare education in, in, interventions, um, and listeners uh, keep that in mind for, for at least a second or two. Um, basically, whilst and then um, I'm now going to uh, highlight the context around uh, where allied health professionals or AHPs, as they are referred to in the UKs, and how and how um, different um, different um, uh, groups of um, professionals um, that um, that are around in and around different aspects of healthcare, um, uh, albeit uh, perhaps not so um, um, uh, not so obvious all the time, um, uh, where different health professionals uh, and different groups of professionals um, have um, sort of that sort of um, uh, um, train where there's that training or understanding um, and where 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 uh, patients and carers, uh, for example, have uh, queries um, um, are, are relating to particular uh, scenarios where different health professionals could be um, uh, available, thus to um, um, kind of um, bring out and support areas of healthcare um, in in sort of using a, a little bit more a dynamic to to the way um, healthcare is approached. And that's not to say though, listeners, that you know people being on, on different medicines and having interventions in that way uh, is a bad thing, but obviously in papers and um, in literature retrospectively, uh, it highlights that actually that um, generally, apart from those who have or suspect or high risk or sus who are suspect or high risk for these kinds of health conditions, actually, uh, apart from that, um, those who are in the general population um, would uh, would also um, uh, have um, a sense of impact um, on on areas um, around healthcare in one way or another if um, they are unable to, for example, or find it challenging to navigate aspects of health healthcare as well. So. Uh, um, and so. Uh, in this regard. Um, uh, sort of the the um, the paper by, for example, Mohammed et al. Um, uh, uh, a team sort of in 2020, and uh, a paper um, before that, um, are uh, sort of looking at the um, uh, the, poly, the the polypharmacy aspect. Um, um, uh, the works, uh, the 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 research. Um, uh, retrospectively highlighted that um, um, that um, with with the with the context that there is um, uh, and also in linking with um, a publication by so clarity which I have mentioned in audio and podcast before um, as well and in, in, in either in that in this series uh, or our, our previous um, series uh, listeners is that basically um, where different um, professionals can be involved um, in different ways, um, uh, where at least where uh, health um, healthcare educational interventions are concerned um, and, and could be implemented or highlighted, um, that sort of understanding or, or context um, um, has not actually really been stratified across different allied health professional uh, sectors um, um, and owing. And, and really, because there's been little little evidence um, to support um, that, um, and so that um, uh, that uh, at least in in one way or another, the the works by Mohammed and team um, uh, um, uh, from from the works around the renal patient support group have highlighted that as well. Uh, that this um, and 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 basically, despite um, uh, chronic kidney disease <coughs> patients having uh, to see different um, uh, the different members of the healthcare team, or also refer to apart from allied health professionals in one way or another, but also the multidisciplinary team or MDT, um, and um, 
uh, a paper by Stoves um, uh, uh, highlights that in 2010 uh, that during healthcare and the and the sort of the care pathway and, and that that is um, that the that the, the, that they sort of are aligned to um, uh, are not um, are not um, always um, uh, accessible is number one and number two is that they're not always um, uh, very um, uh, um, even so for example even if um, patients or carers had these kinds of um, uh, sort of um, uh, areas of healthcare where there are, are uh, sort of where they find there are challenges and might find it more advantageous to access different forms of different kinds of health professionals that health professionals themselves um, are not um, sort of um, aligned um, in, 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 in that context or grasping, um, not, not um, particularly grasping in that way. So what, that, what, what this means also, listeners, is that um, <clears throat> where, there, where health professionals um, um, are could, um, <clears throat> and there is evidence, um, uh, some evidence around this, um, in some in some literature where online spaces um, uh, could be used or implemented where different health professionals can be available um, to support as, uh, aspects of healthcare that has not really um, uh, um, come out of, of 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 the literature in 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 its entirety. Information communication technology and the exchange of um, uh, sort of um, uh, sort of aspects of healthcare where after particular um, um, healthcare visits where pro patients may visit um, uh, either sort of um, main mainstream frontline healthcare professionals, i.e. physicians uh, or, uh, or sort of uh, general practitioners or, or specialists or um, nurse, nurses or nurse practitioners, for example, um, that um, uh, the, the sort of things that um, are, are kind of um, Put into uh, put it put into as part of those sort of visits are then are put into the um, uh, patients um, the patients uh, sort of uh, record, <clears throat> uh, and that offers um, uh, um, in some contexts also offers the ability to uh, for allied health professionals to be sort of more involved in the delivery of care um, uh, in one way or another. And uh, interestingly, there hasn't been any uh, there hasn't been much literature. Um, uh, out there to highlight um, um, uh, at least even from um, pilot um, pilot data um, that um, uh, that um, different health professionals even for example through group consultations um, or multidis multidisciplinary team meetings for example um, there isn't much out there in the literature to highlight that that has been whether that could work whether it's whether it's whether it can uh, be successful or not um, thus given that um, there is a lot more uh, availability and, and broadness in the way that people access information online that could be suited um, um, for for at least based on case scenarios um, uh, different health professionals could be available and those professionals um, who may not necessarily be traditionally for example patient facing because every health professional to one extent to some extent from a from a uh, training perspective um, and how they train they do have access uh, do do have knowledge or understanding as part of their training at least on the basic um, uh, sort of uh, healthcare ent ent entity and practices that are, are um, that um, are relate to um, a general health and, and sort of well-being, um, and so there is literature to some extent that has come out from um, um, in this context by um, uh, something that's referred to uh, a digital uh, a digital framework for allied health professionals, and that was published in two thousand and nineteen, um, and there is a document um, um, uh, actually um, uh, referred to as the King's Fund, which is um, uh, uh, an organization in, in the UK. And that was published in, again, in 2018. Now, um, I'm just gonna um, highlight um, a little bit how this relates to, um, uh, perhaps um, listeners may have this, may have this understanding to some, 
um, well, no, actually, sorry, uh, let me rephrase. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that listeners will have this understanding um, that in depending where where people are in the world, um, 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 all uh, allied health professionals, different health professionals, including sort uh, sort of the new newly developing roles um, of uh, what were what had been referred to as um, sort of um, the physician assistants or physician associates, or uh, and 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 how they are are sort of um, kind of informal um, practitioners um, based on different areas of healthcare. Um, uh, sort of um, have dedicated uh, have and and uh, and are trained to have a dedicated knowledge and specific skill base uh, to prompt focus on areas of best practice um, and relating to um, um, again um, different areas of of healthcare and um, in this context is where for example those with uh, the long long term conditions um, as we well know. Um, there are various uh, facets that might need to be sort of um, managed um, or, or uh, sort of uh, cared for in one way or another. Um, so, however, um, in this regard, um, also, um, <clears throat> also is where um, uh, sort of um, traditionally, um, at least um, um, in works by, again, um, I, I, I'll highlight again that um, works by Mohammed and team in 2020 and 2000 and sort of 19 um, and along with um, uh, some other um, research out there um, that looks at different um, health professionals and sort of involvement in aspects of healthcare more generally um, in 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 um, in one context or at least some context um, uh, healthcare sort of healthcare scientists could could go through the same sort of um, aspects of training um, um, uh, and um, sort of gain that um uh, uh, perspective um uh so so thus to become sort of specialists and advanced practitioners um in their own right um owing to the kind of um um a sort of um a sort of uh sort of time and a link with with areas of um sort of uh, medicine and laboratory pr practice for example um, and this extends beyond the core um, uh, sort of pre-registration training and sort of uh, the beyond and beyond <clears throat> actually um, uh, where even junior doctors or doctors in training um, uh, um, would not uh, necessarily have um, that sort of training um, as part of um, uh, their sort of um um uh sort of uh training as uh, doctors um uh, uh in in uh, in and around um aspects of medicine so where uh, and in this context where where laboratory education and practice is is also concerned as well so um uh, just to add on this point um is that where physician associates are concerned or physician assistants are concerned um where they had been um sort of um Kind of earmarked to to be in different parts of 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 ge geographical um, um, places. Um, um, for example, in in Canada, um, uh, um, PA um, PA uh, or physician associate associate or physician assistant type programs, and in parts of the the US and other parts um, as well. And um, um, there is um, there is also evidence. Um, that um, there are programs in in the UK, for example, uh, um, uh, where they're taught at um, uh, at sort of masters level, um, uh, and whilst they are um, have have place and they are effective in in one way or another, the same at the same time the premise is is that um, where um, for example, healthcare sci scientists are concerned, and also um, a clinical sort of clinical scientists are concerned um, that um, uh, there is um, sort of an inordinate amount of training that they do um, around areas of pathology that actually physician associates and even junior doctors would struggle and do struggle with, and actually where um, certain um, 
areas of, of practice where science is concerned can be um, kind of linked to an advantage in that regard. But uh, having said that, um, the um, uh, skill sets required by um, the, the, the uh, um, sort of sort of the known skill sets, let's say, that are required by the healthcare workforce um, uh, only diversify um, or are, are sort of are, are kind of um, more uh, sort of um, in, in, inclusive, I guess, inclusive, um, inclusive, um, but depending on on the needs and the demands. Um, there again, there and again, there is um, uh, some uh, um, context that's been published in the digital framework for allied health professionals. And um, now, in in this in this in part of this audio uh, or podcast, listeners, it might come across as though that um, different health prof- different health professionals, depending on the kind of training they have, whether whether they're in in primary care or in secondary care, in, whether in the UK, um, from the UK perspective at least, um, there is um, a little bit of overlap, and um, it, and also where the overlap um, is actually almost quite like a fine line. Now the thing about this is. <laughs> So what this means then, listeners, is that there are uh, health professionals um, who may sort of have a have a knowledge base um, and um, have the uh, training even in aspects of uh, of um, uh, healthcare practice. Um, but um, the the preset or the pre a uh, pretext um, uh, and and again uh, and in and one way or another, perhaps even a conundrum is is that even the healthcare um, uh, professionals, that is, um, for example, uh, uh, healthcare scientists, uh, for example, um, and even other health professionals in other um, different in, in different sort of categories of health professionals, there is a lot. There can be overlap where. Um, people um, and groups of professionals are a kind of almost and dare I say it sort of stepping on each other's toes and then that um, it, um, can become problematic but as I've said the way to kind of um, uh, uh, kind of um, uh, uh, sort of alleviate at least some of that issue is where all of these health professionals and and irrespective of the sort of um, uh, knowledge base they have in in and around the training that they've had um, in in the prof- in the areas of professional practice that they've done, they everyone has um, a, a a kind of um, a, um, I'll put it in 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 in, si- in this kind of context where everyone in one way or another has um, and again based on the sort of educational. Uh, and training um, that they've had through 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 um, at, at what they uh, what they've entailed um, have uh, some some form of unique selling point, um, and each of them have a um, a sort of a a, a training uh, a, a sort of um, kind a kind of um, robustness so that where where that the training and the education that they, they that, that that they can implement can actually be beneficial based on the scenarios that are in front of them but uh, but it must uh, must be said here and it should be highlighted to, to some extent that this has not been sort of explored in 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 in, in its entirety or even um really um uh, um kind of in in a, in sort of a um well um, there has been some, for example, studies out there with some pilot data, um, and um, but what what we must know, what 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 we should know, really, is listeners, is that there are other, there are lots of different um, organisations out there um, providing information, um, sort of on through online um, through online in in lots of different ways, and the problem is is that without the evidence base. Um, basically, it can lead to more um, problems than it solves, and thus mis- more misinformation uh, com- can um, sort of result um, from that. Now, to to where where um, sort of educational 
aspects are concerned, th there is there is um, 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 in 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 areas in aspects of healthcare generally speaking, um, there is this there is this thing there is this there is this um, there is this focus in in, in one way or another um, uh, in different parts of 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 the world um, that that um, have been implemented in some way or another but the data um, is not there to actually um, uh, kind of um, kind of uh, f uh, formidify the fact that um, uh, th uh, that um, uh, that um, that for example if someone has uh, a um, uh, scenario a or scenario b or c or d um, that in any one of those scenarios, for example, that um, that sort of health professional is is required, that sort of professional is is required, that professional is required, or that professional is required. There's not that kind of um, uh, um, sort of understanding in in the literature. So there the the there is some again. To refer to to the a digital framework for allied health professionals, 2019 is quite a good kind of um, a baseline um, <coughs> sort of go to um, a, a sort of um, a document to to refer to. I'm now going to just highlight just very briefly on 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 on, on kind of um, contextualizing some aspects around um, what would be deemed as sort of a best practice in one in best practice in one way or another. So. Um, and in this context, I'm going to talk about um, uh, just a, a kind of overview um, of what what um, uh, what it means to sort of um, be inclusive or diversify. Uh, so di diversification, for example, for 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 um, um, all intents um, sort of all intents purposes or for what it's worth, <coughs> excuse me, um, takes place in several forms, including the identification of um, sort of uh, settings for um, the delivery of certain healthcare services. That's number one. Number two is the new ways of providing um, existing services. Um, number three, the, introdu the introduction of sort of new types of um, uh, sort of new types of um, ways that pa uh, patients and carers and, and even health professionals can interact uh, to the point where um, uh, supplementary information or um, uh, uh, support can be provided, um, thus um, uh, th uh, to this to the extent that not everything um, is is, um, for example, around um, um, uh, around um, uh, giving uh, certain types of uh, of medication, though that might be part of of the um, the, the, the the part of uh, the healthcare pathway for. Uh, individuals um, in one way or another. Now, number four here is uh, to say that um, the adopt the adoption of a sort of new 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 language to describe um, sort of existing treatment um, uh, and also uh, in line with that is interventions. And number five, sort of new philosophies um, of of healthcare. Um, and again, the um, the context I, I've just read out there um, is sort of. Uh, para, uh, uh, sort of paraphrased from um, the works um, uh, that have been highlighted in the digital framework for allied health professionals in uh, 2019, um, where that was published. So uh, I'm now just going to um, provide an overall uh, sort of summary around this um, and, and what's been what's what uh, what's been uh, highlighted. Allied health professionals um, sort of have um, kind of lots of different roles to play, uh, have different focuses. And potentially have uh, well, not potentially. Sorry, um, there are lots of different ways um, that they can be included and and can um, uh, implement aspects of of their um, day to day practice. And um, one of the ways that hasn't really been um, sort of um, uh, kind of explored, um, at least not in 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 detail, um, uh, um, for in, in 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 literature retrospectively, but uh, um, but. Um, from the example of the renal patient support group in one way or another they um there is um there is um hope in one way that um um that um by involving different allied health professionals that there can be the, this um premise where there could be um 
uh, allied health uh, professional led clinics um, and those clinics being sort of point of care education um, and um, the works by Mohammed um, and team sort of highlight that um, um, uh, um, sort of um, sort of indirectly um, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, at least um, uh, uh, at, at, at the present time. Um, so there is number one a greater need for patient focused services um, there is also um, sort of a, a requirement <clears throat> to to embrace sort of the competitive um, competitiveness and, and plurality a plurality of um, sort of health um, healthcare and and, the, and aspects of provision and number three um, <clears throat> there is a requirement to sort of repro reprofile certain um, areas of the workforce um, or healthcare workforce to make it to make um, uh, to, to make um, uh, uh, those areas of, of, of healthcare more suited um, and more um, sort of um, so, and more approachable um, if you like um, um, in a way to, um, so that there are um, um, apart from modern ways or novel ways of, of working I mean in 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 for at least um, um, uh, um, since 2019 and, and perhaps even a little bit before, um, there um, has been efforts by different um, groups of um, uh, different organizations um, uh, uh, and um, areas in healthcare where there have been focuses about around doing things um, uh, in, uh, sort of remote, more, more sort of remote working or digit digitally, um, etc. But um, again, the pi the pilot data around these um, things have not um, sort of surfaced um, uh, to to kind of um, uh, um, be part of um, or, or not surfaced to the extent where where um, uh, there is um, uh, um, a sort of uh, um, a a link where um, uh, there is. Um, understanding from different health professionals and how they can implement and uh, impart um, aspects of their healthcare and service delivery um, based on um, a different um, healthcare um, sort of scenarios. And then there's also um, the need for sort of definitions um, um, of, of core sort of core um, uh, um, uh, core uh, areas of, of healthcare um, where um, um, where um, areas are where where where, the, where where there are challenges or difficulties or potential inefficiencies, that there is a there is some sort of framework to to um, actually uh, link to um, um, sort of effectiveness, if you like, um, because when things are effective, um, or let me rephrase that actually, listeners, when things when people are working together um, in, um, in different ways um, and bridging uh, gaps in, in, in different ways as well, then there's there will be, um, there can be more effectiveness that comes out of that. Um, um, and um, <clears throat> that's um, sort of um, the works by, um, again, there is some, there is some literature, um, sorry, some understanding around this again in the digital framework for allied health professionals that was published in 2019 and then um, uh, there's also the sort of this this there's this remit where uh, number five in, in this context is that there's a there's the recognition of status of a core sort of clinical service in in relation to impact on 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 page on on pa individuals or patients um, going through um, a particular area of healthcare. Um, and um, uh, depending on that area of healthcare, that um, different um, kinds of um, uh, uh, health professionals are involved, um, albeit either at any one time or actually um, uh, sort of individually um, uh, uh, in a in a sort of in a sort of kind of earmarked way, um, and so this also means that. Um, wherever wherever patients wherever patients uh, sorry wherever healthcare um is 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 involved um um generally speaking um 
um, from from sort of one end to another end, um, there is this premise where healthcare um, um, for patients um, actually um, there's this requirement or sense of requirement that all patients um, uh, and um, those who are going through uh, particular areas of healthcare will at some point require service from labor from the laboratory from laboratory services or laboratory practice. And in that regard, um, there the, the, um, is this um, there is this um, um, sort of premise um, that um, uh, with with sort of um, involvement and and more um, kind of apart from the, the interconnectivity, which we all know, uh, listeners, is that um, through online spaces and, you know, lots of different things that are happening nowadays. <clears throat> there's more um, more uh, probability of of uh, that interconnectivity except the uh, which um, sorry uh, which is which is excellent which is really good but the problem is is that um, the uh, interconnectivity actually um, can lead into um, issues where um, the care that patients um, um, might receive or, or a kind of be um, signposted to actually lead to more impoverishment or disparity because, um, uh, and I say this quite quite um, quite bluntly, listeners, is that basically yeah. that um, the issue is is that um, uh, the uh, diversity um, uh, may still not be there, um, irrespective of which. Um, sort of professionals um, are, are kind of involved in patient care and that um, is is uh, still and has been a conundrum for 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 um, for some time and in in a, in a way um, <clears throat> not to to highlight highlight um, too much about the 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 more kind of recent work that the renal patient support group are doing or the rpsg are doing but just to highlight that they are have been looking at this um, in 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 kind of lots of different um, sort of perspectives. They um, um, the team have been quite um, uh, uh, I guess they've been quite audacious in 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 um, taking risks, um, but um, they they seem to be able to hold their own. Um, and. Uh, Number six, um, generally, um, in this context, is there is a need or a requirement across different areas of health professional health healthcare and health professionalism, um, um, or health professionals, where um, there is a requirement um, for for leadership um, in 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 all of them. So in, in all aspects, um, because um, the problem has been um, that. Um, um, where healthcare is concerned, it's more of a management, um, uh, a management um, persona that seems to um, uh, have a hierarchical place, um, and that um, uh, can actually um, kind of um, uh, uh, um, um, kind of um, uh, uh, thwart patients to to kind of not get. Uh, not uh, sort of not get involved or not want to be uh, uh, not want to be um, part of healthcare um, or discuss in involved with 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 uh, health professionals and there's work by Smith and, and team in 2013 there's work by uh, Patsoulas um, and team in 2015 and there's actually um, again that report I've mentioned the um, allied uh, the di the digital framework for allied health professionals, um, in which was published in two thousand and nineteen. So that's all I'm going to say, actually, listeners. Um, there is a, a small uh, um, uh, a list of resources or further reading that um, you can check out in your own time, and um, I'll, I'll read a few of these, and um, um, and then um, uh, uh, you can check those out um, at any time you want. Uh, so. There is uh, again. There's the digital framework uh, for uh, for allied health professionals 2019, and that's that's like one of the first and foremost probably to check out in context with this audio post audio podcast. 
there's a work by um, uh, Agrawal um, um, in 2009 yeah. and where he talks about medication, uh, where the author talks about medication errors, um, prevention using information technology systems and uh, that was um, uh, published in a pharmacological or clinical pharmacological journal. Um, there is um, work by um, sorry another another um, guideline or a framework in some regard is the allied health professions into action and this was actually published in 2017 um, and is available online there's a uh, work by um, uh, the department of health where they look at the the review they review uh, this is a department of health in 2015 where they look at the review of of operational productivity in nhs providers and it was basically like a, a, an interim report and it's quite good to get an understanding of how the um, the operational aspects of uh, <clears throat> excuse me of the NHS um, uh, uh, sort of come uh, coming to focus and then there is work by um, Edwards and, and team in 2017 the use of primary care um, um, uh, online consultation system and uh, it, it looks at by whom, when, and why evaluation of a pilot observational study in 36 general practices in, in the southwest of England. And this was published in the uh, uh, British Medical Journal or BMJ. There's also um, work by uh, uh, G uh, Gabinji uh, or Binji um, in 2015, where they look at creatinine, um, uh, at least where chronic kidney disease is concerned, look at creatinine, point of care testing, um, for detection and monitoring of uh, a chronic uh, a kidney disease. And it's a primary care diagnostic technology update that was published in the British uh, Journal of General Practice um, uh, in 2015. Um, there's also um, a, a document um, retrospective actually, or it's, it's quite an old document, but it is actually quite a, um, a kind of an easy to read document as well. Um, and that is um, a, a titled Making the Change 2001. Um, and it's a strategy for professions in healthcare science. Um, and um, it's available online uh, most most uh, papers and uh, publications that are um, sort of uh, just over a decade um, or, or, or um, maybe seven to ten seven to ten years old or older tend to be available online um, uh, and accessible um, there's the um, document by there's a paper publication kind of looking at, at, at health literacy in context um, it's uh, a paper by Nutbeam um, who's an Australian author uh, Nutbeam in 2018, and there's a uh, Nutbeam in 2000, uh, in 2000, health, uh, where he looks at health literacy as a public health goal, and it's uh, a challenge, uh, a challenge for contemporary health education and, co and communication strategies into the 21st century, and it was uh, published in a health health promotion health promotion international um, uh, in that regard, and um, uh, the list is is quite uh, uh, quite extensive in one way uh, in this in this audio podcast uh, listeners so i won't i won't um, say everything uh, i won't say many more actually uh there is um there's work by um williams and team in 1998 relationship uh, of functional health literacy to patients knowledge of their chronic disease and it's a study of patients with hypertension and diabetes and it's published in archives internal medicine um, there is a paper by uh, Wu and um, uh, Wu and Lu actually. They're an um, Oriental team uh, back in 2017, where they uh, look at online a written consultation, telephone consultation, and an offline appointment, and they look at an examination of the channel of the channel effect in in online health communities, and that was uh, published in the Inter International Journal of, Journal of Medical Informatics, I believe it is. And um, I will read this last one out actually. Um, Zickman, uh, Zickman Fisher um, um, and team in 2017 uh, published uh, a, a work on uh, graphics um, help patients distinguish um, between urgent and non urgent uh, deviations in laboratory, uh, laboratory test results. And that was published in the Journal of American Medicine and Informatics uh, Association, I believe it is. Um, I have mentioned um, 
uh, works by um, uh, uh, Mohammed and team uh, in 2020. Um, uh, this uh, one, the paper that they, that was that was published in 2020 um, was published in the Turkish Journal of Nephrology, um, and they look at um, a need for um, a sort of uh, a, a, um, a healthcare scientists um, and uh, uh, sort of educational uh, uh, support surrounding um, uh, 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 sort of tests and investigations around chronic kidney disease. Um, and uh, they, in, in their work, they summarize sort of um, poll, poll data, which is um, collected um, uh, through, um, uh, through um, uh, sort of an online, online support um, uh, platform and um, uh, where the, the data um, uh, and the work that they did in that context, listeners, was uh, basically um, where they looked at um, different areas of healthcare practice in an online space um, and looked at this uh, um, over um, uh, at least where data was collected. Um, it was collected over different times, but added all together, it was uh, about six uh, over a six month duration um, to understand different areas of um, um, uh, healthcare um, uh, and also how potentially education um, could be um, uh, uh, be more um, sort of pivotal in aspects of uh, healthcare delivery um, and uh, so um, if you um, if listeners uh, want to check that out <coughs> feel free to um, um, peruse and go through the works um, through the renal patient support group uh, directly um, and uh, you should be able to check it out um, that way so I'm going to leave it like that this has been a um, this has been the scientist um, uh, on the storm uh, the stormtronics case review and it's been a podcast on um, an audio podcast on healthcare and prioritizing the labscape workforce and it's been another uh, la uh, storm lobotics production Thank you for listening um, and have a good one.